Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. Mark and Steve here, and we're talking a little bit today about XML. Extensible Markup Language. Right. And Final Cut Pro. And Final Cut Pro, exactly. Um, I actually got this uh, tip from uh, someone who works at Apple on the Final Cut Pro team and shared it with me. It's a great time saver for setting up your projects that are pre-populated with all the keyword connect collections, smart collections that you want, so you don't have to create them after the fact. You can actually create them ahead of time as a template. So before you even start editing, sometimes you would set up a bunch of smart collections or keyword collections and, and whatnot. Right. Yeah. So yep. it's called XML templates. Okay. All right. Let's check it out. Let's take a look. So what I'm going to do is start by creating a new library altogether. So I'm going to go file, uh, new library, and just temporary, I'll call this templates. Just a, it's a temporary library. And um, I'll just, I don't recommend saving stuff on the desktop, but I'm going to do that for today. Save it. Right now. I have an event, I'm gonna call this dailies. I'm gonna be specific here because all of this is gonna get tracked with the XML. Okay. So that's what I typically call my first event for importing dailies. Dailies, go ahead and there's nothing in there. Um, control click, you notice here I'm gonna set key keyword collection, shift command K, I'm gonna do shift command K. Actually, actually let's name this first. I'll call this um, exteriors and I'll do shift command K to create a new one. Okay, this uh, interiors, and this is however you want to set up your organizational structure. Yeah, right. I'm just randomly saying that yeah. this is and, kind of. And you're doing keyword collections, but you could even do smart collections if you knew kind of where you were going. Like I do, a, I do a show every year, and we always need to set it up the same way, and right. we always do this manually. But it could have done what you're about to do. Right. So I'm going to say, what is it? Command option. Let's see. But I sometimes actually forget what the keyboard shortcuts are. But yeah, uh, option command in, thank you. Okay. And I'm gonna create a smart collection. I'm gonna call this favorites. Because you could use the favorites menu, but I tend to like having favorite smart collections because it collates all yes. the favorites in one place. Okay. And I'll go ahead and edit, since we're here, I'll go ahead and edit this now. I'm gonna add a rule. I'll say, uh, let's see, ratings. So it's already set up as a favorite. So it's already kind of Great. ready to go. And it'll automatically uh, populate. Right, in fact, let, let me go ahead and add um, one more, one more keyword collection, and we'll call this interviews because I typically put all my interviews into a keyword collection. And I can go on. I can make music. I, I can keep yep. going. I can make yep. this as long or as short as I yep. want. That's the point. And you could you could drag those keyword collections from other libraries if, in order to build this if you, if you wanted. If to. I wanted to, like yeah, I, I, I can open this up. And but in, find that, out. in that case, Eclipse will come with like, it. Like I shoot with a C100, but yeah, I don't want to because Eclipse will come with it. But yeah, I can certainly drag other keyword collections mm -hmm. in there. So what I want to do is, is select this library, and I want actually you can even select the event file, export XML. And I'm going to be using this on a commercial, uh, on a vaping commercial, a PSA. PSA, okay. Yeah, so I'm going to say this, uh, vaping or vaping template. So I'll just, so I know what this is. Mm -hmm. And you can set this up for any project, however you want. I'm going to click save. Save the XML. I'm going to go ahead and open a, create a new library. I'm going to call this vaping this is, I haven't even started this. I haven't even imported anything yet. Right. Baking, it's vaping, still being shot. Perhaps. Still being shot, perhaps, or whatever. And I'm going to save that. So I've saved it as the library I want. Now, I'm sitting down at my desk and I'm ready to start importing, start mm -hmm. bringing stuff in. But I don't have any organizational structure yet. It doesn't matter because I already created a template, an XML template. So file, import, XML. Import, XML. Go to the XML I saved from that previous library, click import, boom comes in, you'll notice, comes in as dailies. Yep. I don't e actually even need this event anymore. The existing event. I don't need it. Yep. Why? Because I already have the event that I created. If I spill this open, there's my there's exteriors, the there's my favorites. Everything is there, essentially pre-organized, ready for me to do my import. That's brilliant. For anybody who's doing kind of repetitive edits of similar shows, you can right. have, have this all set up, especially, it's kind of the, um, you know, assistant editor has to get this set up. Because yes. once it's set up, then when you're importing stuff, just drag directly on top of the keyword collection, and you're good to go. And we're good to go. So yeah, very simple tip. A lot of people don't know, know about, but I don't know. Use it all the time. Yeah. XML rocks. Yes, right. it does. Awesome. Thank so you. So do our outro now. <laughs> Here's the outro. RippleTraining.com. Tutorials, plugins, everything there. Uh, we're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. We do lots of free content like this every week. So. Stay tuned, learn, share, and we'll see you next week on MacBreak Studio.